Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And today episode, we're taking a break from all of, you know, our reviews and leaderboards and blades and testing all this kind of fun stuff. And here, we're gonna be talking about the infamous flex battery leakage problem, okay? Uh, and just in case it wasn't that infamous, and just in case you didn't know, uh, some people are buying flex tools brand new from the store, either shipped or whatever it may be, getting home, opening it, and then just got this black goo all over it, just oozing out from the battery, okay? And Flex has put out an official like statement or whatnot what to do with it. They've also informed their vendors on what to do with it in case somebody tries to return it and that kind of fun stuff. And, uh, you know, we're no exception to that because we bought all this stuff and it kind of came to that. And I just want to make this video to kind of clear up stuff that may be going around on the internet or whatnot and just give you our opinions and our experiences with it. And just before you say it, Flex did not pay us to make this video. Flex is not related to this video in any way except for us buying some of their stuff from an authorized dealer and, you know, experiencing some of these issues because you know we're obviously no exception to these issues or whatnot so uh, with that being said i'm here to just give you our own opinion and we're going to go over and talk about you know some of our experiences that we've had with this and hopefully it'll clear some of the stuff up so just you know help the general public okay so without too much further ado let's talk about it All right, you guys, so this right here is the Flex FX uh, 1271T. And this is a drill that we reviewed months ago, if not more than a year ago, when, you know, our dual review series and stuff like that. And we've actually gone, you know, quite used to using it. We actually do really like it so much. And then we liked it so much that, you know, once in a while we eventually found a deal on another Flex kit. Um, this right here is the Flex FX 1271T. Dash 2B, we ordered another one, you know, with our own money. So, like I said, this is not sponsored or anything like that. So, uh, when we got this, you know, we got it out and we got, you know, a black ooh and goos and going all over it. So, we kind of got an exchange and we got another one, right? And this one has the same problem, okay? So, uh, we contacted the dealer and all that kind of stuff and they said, you know, here's a statement from the vendor. So, you know, figure out what you want to do with it. So, uh, you know, contacting Flex, they have an opportunity to replace it if you feel uncomfortable using it. But their official statement is, it is like pretty much a dielectric, like a heat management, thermal care uh, product that kind of have sandwich between the batteries, phase change type material that may or may not, you know, uh, leak in terms of turn to a goo or leak out, it's not harmless, it's not battery acid, and they wanted to make sure you know it's not battery acid and you should feel comfortable using the tool as intended, right? So um, if you feel uncomfortable, you can contact them and they can kind of, you know, get their uh, replacement or something like that out. But, you know, we're gonna talk about final conclusions toward the end of this, but I wanna tell you or show you what it actually looks like when we get to it. All right, so I'm gonna be wearing gloves mainly because I don't wanna get my hands sticky from all the goo stuff, all right? But here is the old one or the one that we originally used to use. We like this so much and here's the new one, okay? And as first, when we soon got the new one or as soon as we got the new one, there was ooze or black ooze coming out of it and we knew exactly what happened with it and then we got that one exchanged and then now look we got a second replacement out and this one is also having an exchange so we're like oh my gosh we know this is having the same problem all right anyways let's at least go ahead and show you what it looks like so if you go ahead and open this um you can tell right here there's a black goo you know right here on there and if you want to look at the case you know here's pretty much in, uh, the handle uh, you can see this battery right here um the way you look at it uh, there's like it's covered in goo you can kind of just see in this bag it's just ooze okay so they call this stuff, you know, it's not toxic or anything like that. But I mean, who really wants to use this, right? Surely you could probably clean it up. They don't give you instructions or anything like that, how to clean it up. But you know, if you cleaned up, I'm sure it may probably work fine. You know, we may have to test that and we'll see. But the battery indicator still seems to work. But just look at that. It just looks like shine. It's like someone literally, I don't want to say took a piss on it, but just look at it. Um, that's not what you would expect when you're buying a brand new tool, okay? Uh, especially like a premium tool, right? So this is the uh, bag covered for this drill. And this, this is a pretty nice drill. We do like using it, to be honest. Um, and if you look at it, this uh, this 2.5 amp hour battery, there's black goo coming out of here, okay? Um, so, and this kind of got a little bit, a uh, little bit on the, the drill here. I kind of cleaned up a little bit so we kind of make sure it actually still works, but you won't really see too much of it on here, okay? So this battery indicator does still work. Uh, the issue with this now is that there's goo or the grease, right? Face change material kind of in this case and it may get sticky. There's really no biggie. You know, if you're one of those people who really don't care about how dusty and stuff gets, then that's not a problem. But 
if sawdust and drywall dust and stuff kind of sticks uh, falls in here, it's just gonna get sticky if you don't clean it up. So just know that, okay? All right, you guys. So that's really the flex goo or the flex goo or ooze or whatever you want to call it, right? So let's throw up the technical bulletin and see what they really has to say. All right. So Chevron North America, you know the company that builds flex and skill and all that stuff, released a technical bulletin back earlier this year on 14th of February 2023, and obviously, and just you could kind of figure out from just reading it, apparently Chevron makes both of this stuff for flex and scale. They kind of own it for both, okay? So, in some recent cases, they've kind of seen you know, a black phase change material wax-like substance leak out of the battery enclosure when the battery is placed and sealed in an environment of high temperature and high humidity for an extended period. The phase change material may melt and leak out of the battery enclosure. Well, that's going to be a problem, okay? Mainly because a lot of us, including myself, are buying these things online that have to be shipped to you, okay? They may be sitting who knows how many hours on a plane or a tarmac or or you know i don't know on the ups or feather truck or wherever it comes from you know how, how long it's gonna be sitting there. we can't really control that because it's not in our hands yet but anyways if it is leaking out you know it's probably happening like that so i will go ahead and tell you this uh, we bought a lot of flex tools over the last i don't know few years um uh, all kinds of stuff and for whatever reason like the uh rec recip saw the grinder and all that stuff seems fine it's this i've only person personally experienced in like the drills and impacts type deal i don't know why we haven't seen it in saws and stuff like that but anyways uh, what is the material first they want to reassure you this stuff is harmless it's not battery acid the tool and the battery are not impacted and you know obviously that's probably going to be good because most people are going to be thinking this stuff is like lithium acid or battery acid or something like that but it's reassuring to know it's not acid because mostly if it's acid you know people are going to be afraid to touch it and stuff like that I'm not saying go touch it that's not what i'm saying anyways uh flex and skill or chevron whoever has a plan to get these replaced and for whatever reason if you're not satisfied with the product you receive like i am you can contact them with these numbers or these emails uh in the technical bulletin and they'll figure out how to get the battery replaced uh for you okay and if you want to keep the battery or whatever you could probably just do with the leaking battery they say go recycle it they even tell you a link or give you a link to go and find a recycling center okay and on the second pages bulletin you'll see there are actually uh, many tools or batteries or whatnot that kind of affected by this flex 24 volt stuff you know they got a few batteries there then they got the skill 12 volt 20 volt and 40 volt stuff so just in case you couldn't tell it seems like a lot of design characteristics and technology and stuff are shared between the two brands okay all right so anyways, I just want to throw it out there because I've seen, you know, a lot of short videos and people talking about stuff and a lot of people saying it's acid and I'm like, you know, just common sense telling me acid I've seen is not black. Okay. So anyways, point is I wanted to get this out there and, and you know, uh, just clear up some of the information. So let's talk about this. What can we say about this? Okay. Like I said, Flex is not paying us say this or anything like that. What I will, what I really will say about this is... Flex is kind of saying they're a premium brand, they're better than everyone else, just like everybody says they're better than everyone else. But this is probably something they do need to get under control and figure out how to fix. I'm not saying, you know, they need to get rid of the material, find some type of replacement or something like that. But, you know, they really need to figure this out if they're going to be, you know, keep going as a premium brand. And Flex is, as far as I can tell, marketing himself as a premium brand and a lot of people have you know good experience or some people have bad experience with it and you know if you're buying a premium brand and you know this cost is kind of saying it's premium um you don't want to open your box and be like well there's black goo all over my stuff right you, you, you there's been cases and you know every brand manufacturer and stuff like that has had you know i want to really big issues with a lot of their stuff milwaukee's no exception dewalt makia they're no exception everybody has these issues okay but i will say i believe this is the first time an oozing substance that's coming out of the battery kind of causing mass panic so to say so um i'm assuming they're going to figure this out looks like they already know what models and stuff like that are affected but apparently you know they still got inventory and stuff like that still floating around so if you do see black ooze then you know that's pretty much what it is I personally think they need to figure this out fast, mainly because I'm on my second replacement and that is still oozing out, okay? So hopefully uh, this video helped you guys out and cleared up some of this information. Next week we'll get back to, you know, our usual series of stuff, but have a great day, get back to work, and we'll see you guys next time.